Hello students, in this class we learn about shapes. So I click on this shape icon and the first tool is line. When I click on this, it's activated now and these are creation method of this line. So initial method, initial method means when I click, click, click. So these are initial method. Okay. And second initial method is smooth. I choose corner. So it's create a corner line. If I choose smooth, so when I click first point and second points, it's like similar to corner line. But when I move, it's create a smooth line like this. Okay. Or the smoothness depend on the distance of these points or angle. Okay. Like this. So these are initial method. No need to click and drag. First, I delete these lines. And the second method is drag method. If I choose initial method corner and the drag method corner. So first click and when you click on the second click, click and hold. Do not release this. So click and drag. So it's creating corner line because we choose the drag method is corner okay so it's also work like a linear and if we change this drag method to smooth it's created a smooth line click and hold and drag okay so it's created a smooth line then if you want to go to the back level so press backspace key it's work like a undo okay so click, I just click here, I once again I click and hold and drag, okay. So it's created a smooth line by clicking and dragging because the drag type method is smooth. And the next option is Bezier. Bezier is similar to smooth, click and hold okay? and drag for smoothness, click and hold and drag. But the difference only is if I select the smooth line and go to modify section and select all these points. These are dividation of these lines. Vertex. These are vertex. Okay. And in the between of two vertex, it's called segment. It's segment. And the third option is spline. If you click anywhere on this spline, all the spline is selected. So I choose vertex. If I select this vertex, so there is no controller for control this smoothness. For exit this modification, click on this icon. So you can select uh, other object. And this line we create by using Bezier method. So if I choose the vertex, you can click on the arrow and expand this. You can select from here or also here. If I select this vertex, so these are handles. So it's a different between Bezier and a smooth line. You can control Bezier line by using these tangent handles. Okay. I click on this vertex icon for exit the modification process. So these are creation method of any line. I discuss some other options. First I delete them. If you want to create a straight line, I choose line tool and creation method is corner and drag type is corner so i click a point okay, like this and if you want to create a straight line so press and hold shift key so it's always create a straight line like this okay. and if you want to exit from this tool just right click or you can also hit escape key line is selected and now i go to modify section and select these vertex and then right click there are so many other options to modify these lines but we discuss these tools in the next classes second shape tool is circle click and drag define a radius and if you want to modify the radius go to modify tab and increase or decrease or you can also scale up or scale down by using the scale tool if you are working with dimensions, always change the radius by using modify tab. Next shape tool is 
arch i choose this and the parameters is radius and from and to but but we create interactive arch so i just click and hold and then drag the mouse release click and define the radius like this okay go to modify tab and you can also change the radius like this and from and to values so 3ds max has only one type radius next shape is angel click and drag and define area i move a little bit go to modify tab and the first parameter is radius you can increase or decrease radius like this and if you want to change the side like pentagon or hexagon okay, you can change you can add more size the next shape is text tool by using this you can type anything in the 3ds max so it's default text match text and you just click on the viewport so it's typed and you can change the size also like this or you can also go to modify tab same parameters also available here and if you want to change the font you can make changes like this like this okay so it's a very useful tool for adding some text it's a egg shape click and drag okay and it's a inner side of this egg shape i do not know what you create by using this shape but it's a standard shape in 3ds max and the parameters is length and width and thickness you can also change after creation and its angle you can change the angle and you can also change by rotate to and the next tool is freehand by using this you can create a path free form like a pencil tool you can modify this path go to modify tab and i increase the report size okay. so first option is sampling you can increase or decrease the smoothness of this path by changing this sampling okay. like this more sample means very basic path and low and low sampling means the more accurate path 